Hey guys, I'm just walking home. Um, this is not going to be a technology related blog, although there might be some hints of like technology and all that crap. Um, it's go it, it, It's actually a film review. Uh, I've just watched uh, Taken 2 at the, at the pictures. And I wasn't really... Well, it wasn't as epic as the first one. Like, the, the first one was a great masterpiece in, in cinematography, uh, risk, plotline, storyline. It was just... It had everything. And Liam Neeson, that just... Well, that just adds to the action, doesn't it? Um... Yeah, take Taken 2, I recommend in watching it. it I, I actually only came to the Taken series. Uh, well, I watched Taken 1, uh, must have been about two or three weeks ago, and my mind was blown, like, how have I not seen this film yet? It came out in 2009 or 10, or... It, it came out earlier than 2010. And I watched it, like, whoa. How have I never seen this film before? Like, it, I, I know I'm a film... I know I'm a film... Like, I'm a film uh, nut. And I watch all kinds of films. And it's it's it's, it's, what, it's what I do, really. And it's, I, I... I buy films, and... And I buy films, and then I watch them, and then I take them back, and it's... It's, it's really, really good. Like it's like uh, like normal films like that are coming out today. They've always got faults and stuff like that. But Taken Taken One, that was just a masterpiece. Nothing wrong with it. Everything was everything was explained just right. Um, I here's a here's a few comments about like Taken Two. I think the shots were too uh, were too fast. Like during a fi during a fighting scene, you'd have you'd have like three shots per per hit. Like um, like enemy of the um, like a like a, like a wide angle shot of somebody bringing the uh, fist back to punch Liam Neeson, and then and then they'd actually punch him in another shot like a like a medium shot and then they actually show a close shot of Liam Neeson Liam Neeson's face going away cause, because of the punch and my voice has just broke a little bit <coughs> and I think like I was looking around the screen and I thought this is moving really really fast like it's it's very good but I think I think they need to slow it down uh, yeah um uh, I know, I know the things, but uh, Taken Two is all about. Um, sorry, um, my pants keep falling down, and it's annoying because my belt isn't working at all, and it's a stupid invention. Um, Taken Two is about. Well, it's basically the same. It's this basically the same premise as Taken One. Uh, taken to people are getting revenge for what they did to the families and all the people, all the Ib Albanians, and then they're getting them back, like tracking down the, tracking down the mum, well, tracking down the wife, tracking down the daughter again, and then tracking down him, and then getting them all together to kill them all, uh, just to seek revenge. And it, and it's basically that. Um. And yeah, Liam Neeson does what he does best by kill, kicking ass, and he definitely does in, in Taken Two. Um, like, there's another thing that, like Hunger Games. Hunger Games is just overrated as hell. I watched it because my girlfriend kept saying like, "Oh, you should watch Hunger Games. It's pretty good." It's, it's pretty, she's a media student too, but she's not like she's not delved into the stuff that we uh, like me and my friends have done at, at college. Like um, we've actually started writing scripts now and and doing storyboards and like short lists. Um, yeah, Taken Two is is just the same thing as well. The Taken aren't they? Like um, <laughs> um, he, he rings up the door and says. Me and your mum have been taken. Like, oh my god, he just said it, and he says it in he says it in Dark Knight Rises as well. And when he said it, when he said it in Dark Knight Rises, like, um, 
uh, when Bane's, <coughs> not Bane, Christian Bale, Batman, is down in the pit and um, Liam Neeson comes back from the memory and he says something and he says the word taken and I went, oh my god, he said it, he said it, like he's promoting his new film. Um, <coughs> yeah. I can't really remember it, anything else of the film. It's quite hard to remember the film because it was just jam-packed with action. Um, continuity errors. There was a few. Um, there's a stage where they're going to the US Embassy. And um, they're, they're crashing through all the soldiers' stuff. Like they're, they're getting shot at from all angles. And they go into the US Embassy. Uh, Liam Neeson rings up a, d a dude. Um, saying, can you sort out this so we don't get our heads blown off when we put, bring our heads up? And he does that. And, like, yeah. Like, he rings him up. But it, it, they don't show the scene, like, they don't show Katie getting out of the car or how safe she is. Like, they just, they, they just, like, they just cut to the action. I mean, they just cut that bit. And, and then it goes back to the mum. It it go it it goes back it go back it goes back to the wife being kidnapped being being uh, being fingered around by by the Albani Albanians. Um, um that's just basically it. Yeah. There's a few things like yeah, Alba Albanians uh, are, are, are dragging the wife, are dragging the mother through, and they don't they don't follow that. And also, there was a there was another continuity error when um, like uh, Liam Neat. I'll say it again. Liam Neeson gets invited to the house, invited to the house um, of the mother, and they come in for a drink, and they both have a gla glass of wine, and yet. There's no shot of actually of the mother actually pouring the wine. There's no there's no shot of it, and I and I I, I was like there thinking like, was there actually a shot of her pouring the wine, or did they just like cut to the place where they're actually drinking the wine? Because I didn't I didn't I didn't actually see it be poured. And I I said I said to Lizzie, how, how can they drink that when it wasn't even poured? Like, did she have the glasses ready? Uh, uh, ready of wine? No, she... And I remember in the previous shot, she brought out wine glasses, she put them on the table, and she didn't do anything with it. She just put the wine glass on the table, and that was it. Um, I don't, I don't know if a lot of people picked up on that. Um, that's... That's basically it, other than... Other than the action scenes, like, um, the daughter is learning how to drive, and yet, in Istanbul, she's a fucking mad driver. She's perfect. She's getting all past the police cars and chafing all the buildings. But she's she's an amazing driver for for be, not having a driving's license. And I just think that her her getting a drive her getting a driver's license has got nothing to do with the film. She's not driving. Um she she she, do, she learns how to parallel park in the first 10 minutes. And then she, she's still driving through, like, yeah. And Liam Neeson says to her, saying, do you know how to shoot a gun? No, we'll drive then. Like, she doesn't even know how to drive. She may she may know how to drive, but she's not got the license to actually drive. It's like, everybody, like, um, it's like, it's, it's easy to drive, but I'm not, I'm not allowed to drive. It, it, yeah. It's the same. It's the same thing. If I was like a sound engineer and I was carrying like three hundred grand's worth of equipment in my hands, like I wouldn't be allowed to carry that unless I had a certificate or a diploma or a master's degree to actually carry it. Um, I digress here. Um, it's hard, it's hard to fit an entire film in my head. Um. I'd, I'd, I'd still recommend watching it other than a few errors. I'm going to give it about 8 out of 10. Um, 
just be, like taken one I'll, I'll give about nine out of ten because it was fantastic and it was great cinematography but it's a storyline and I know I've said this before it's a great storyline but that storyline has been changed and changed for years and years and they finally got good actors and and a good main like a good um, role character to actually play the character because li like Liam Neeson he's aging and he's <coughs> He, he, he acquired a certain amount of skills that he can only do with uh, the FBI or CIA or whatever it is. So, uh, Taken 1, 9 out of 10, and Taken 2, 8 out of 10, and that's going to be it. So, uh, thanks for listening, and I'll see you next podcast. Well, my phone's being a bit of a dick. Bloody rom. Right, uh, thanks for listening and I'll see you later.